Bride of the Gorilla was written and directed by Kurt C. Edmack, who also wrote screenplays for House of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, and Earth vs. the Flying Saucer. It stars Raymond Burr, who had become famous for playing Perry Mason on TV, and was the lead in Godzilla King of the Monsters, the Americanized version of the original Gojira. The film also features Lon Chaney Jr., who became one of the horror icons of the 40s, having played each of Universal's famous monsters of the time, including the Wolfman, Frankenstein Monster, Dracula, and the Mummy. Here, he's relegated to a supporting role. Raymond Burr plays a plantation manager who gets into constant arguments with his boss, whose wife he loves. After a dispute with the owner in the jungle, they get into a fight and Burr lets a snake bite and kill him. It's something to know that it's supposed to be a venomous snake, but it's actually a python, a snake that kills by constriction. When Burr lets the old plantation owner die, an old woman who's the grandmother of a girl that Burr treated harshly watches him in the bushes. Lon Chaney comes in soon after, playing a police commissioner investigating the death of the plantation owner. He's supposed to be from South America, but really Lon Chaney is about as South American as KFC. Anyway, the old woman makes up a story when asked what happened, and Burr gets away with the murder. Then later, the old woman puts a curse on him and eventually poisons him at Burr's wedding to the plantation owner's widow. He starts hallucinating about transforming into some strange beast and begins to take trips into the jungle. Eventually, his psyche unravels more and more as his supposed hallucinations become worse. At the same time, strange murders of livestock start happening on the plantation and talk of a jungle demon begins to spread. This goes on for a while as the investigation reveals new information about the murder and Burr slips more and more into madness until all of the employees at the plantation all leave in due to fear of the monster. In the end, Burr runs into the jungle, his wife behind him hot on his heels, as well as Lon Chaney and a doctor who's been investigating the murder. They end up cornering Burr who captures his wife and shoot him to death. The film really plays with the idea that the monster in the film is Burr in some sort of hallucinogenic state, and flip-flops back and forth between the idea of that and there actually being a monster. We see from Burr's perspective, with some really cool POV shots, that he's clearly a monster, but the story leads us to believe that that's part of his psychosis. The plot heavily leans towards this idea for the whole movie, until the end where we see the gorilla-like monster roaming through the jungle and even carrying the wife in his arms. It's pretty inconsistent, but it does lean towards it all being in his head. What I find interesting to note is that Lon Chaney played the Wolfman, and the director of this movie wrote that film too, as the Wolfman played heavily with the idea that what Lawrence Talbot was suffering from was all in his head until the end of the movie where he really is a werewolf. Something else that I noticed about this film a lot is that it uses copious amounts of stock footage of various jungle animals that take up a noticeable amount of time in the movie. The entire feature is only just about an hour long, which in here works, but for unfortunate reasons. It's paced decently, but there are noticeable amounts of times where things just drag, and another half hour runtime would have been too much. This isn't a terrible film, and it does some cool stuff with some of the camera work, but I overall don't think it's really aged well, nor does it produce anything worth mentioning. The film is in the public domain though, so if you want to watch it, you can easily find it for free, and I posted the entire film myself, so if you want to see it, you can.